Hey guys, welcome back to Love and Junk. I'm Laura. I'm John. And today we're gonna make dinner together. Yes. So everybody loves to save some time, save some money. Yeah, and we are very busy, so we are all the yeah. time. We love those nights where we, we try to purpose ahead when we go to the grocery store that we know we're gonna be gone this night. We're going to be filming that night we've got plans on that night so we have a couple of quick and easy go-to recipes for those nights so that we can get you know still have a decent dinner and not you know fall back on frozen not that we never do that yeah <laughs> sometimes you have to but the idea of this is just a few simple ingredients quick to make budget friendly you get the idea. So we're making a sausage and spinach pasta today yeah all with ingredients from Aldi Yep, so we've got some pork sausage. Um, we're going to use rotini. That's one of the things that they had at Aldi. And uh, spinach. Yeah, an Let's onion. See. Yeah. You'll need some cream. We've got a little Parmesan. Now, in the uh, with the idea of being budget conscious, we did buy canned mushrooms, but of course you can use fresh. You can throw in whatever you want from your garden into this as well. It's just a good base recipe. Yeah, and a lot of times the way that we cook is that we use things that we have on hand. So we're going to use whatever seasonings that we have to season it up. That's right. So we did add a little bit of reserved pasta water to that mixture. That's a little trick that, I don't know, somebody taught me along the way that helps the pasta, like the starch in it, helps it kind of combine. Um, so I would say we added about two thirds of the box of pasta for this. We're gonna dish it up and say goodbye to you because I'm hungry. Me too. All right, so here it is, all done. Yeah. Now, let's be clear too, if you are a vegetarian or you're wanting to have a vegetarian meal, you can certainly make this exact same thing and leave out the sausage. Yeah, you can also add in other things like artichoke hearts. Well, like or whatever is fresh from your garden. This would be yeah. great with zucchini. You could add some tomato to this if you wanted to. Um, yeah, whatever. I would definitely go the spinach and artichoke route as well. I mean, throw anything in cream and cheese and... <laughs> it's gonna be good. <laughs> that's right. 
Uh, and like I said, if we weren't trying to be on a budget, we would have used fresh mushrooms and probably a lot more of them and all of that. But this meal comes in at something. John will tell you. <laughs> yeah, it'll be right there on the screen. Yeah. And we have plenty. We have these two bowls and probably half a pan left. So this easily serves four. Yeah, absolutely. So four people for my guess is between six and seven dollars. That's yeah, that's, that's not bad at all. Definitely expensive. less than 10 bucks. Yeah, fill your belly. Nice comfort food. So we're both starving. We're yeah. ready to go eat. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel while you're here. Yeah, and don't forget to hit the little bell. Ding! <laughs> yep, to be notified when our videos go up. If you didn't know, we also have a secondary channel called Love Junk and Games. If you're interested in seeing us play games, check us out there. That channel is linked. Make sure to find us on social media as well. The links are in our channel banner. And now, if you like budget-friendly meals. Oh, I do. Or Aldi. Yes. Or pasta. Oh, indeed. Or quick weeknight dinner. Yummy. Then, you know, or us or the video. Yeah, for sure. Give this video a big thumbs up. Oh, I should say. Or Fiesta. Yeah. Where? Because a couple of people have commented. Is that Fiesta? Yes, it is. We love Fiesta. Uh, give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps our channel when you do that. That's all we have for today. See you next time. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.